This is absolutely amazing. So amazing that we get to share this space together. So thankful for having us. Um, before we begin, we pay our respects to the traditional owners of the land on which we're standing, peoples of the Kulin Nation, and we pay our respects to elders past, present, and emerging. And any First Nations people here tonight, pay my respects to you. I pay my respects to the lands on which you've all come, and we're all here together. Sacred land, sacred, beautiful land, and sovereignty was never ceded. Every day we should be working towards equality for First Nations people. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really important. I'm a, a proud Noongar woman, and I'm, I'm so lucky to be living here. And I think about all those people who have come before us. Um, I hope we're not going to blow you away while you're sitting there. But um, I hope you enjoy it, even if we do. <laughs> this first one's called Losing You.
both about losing someone that you really love, but we also like wanted to pair with climate change and the end of the world. Francis here loves to write songs about the end of the world. <laughs> he also just released an album, actually amazing. It's called Good Days, Bad Days. Um, and you can find it everywhere. It's called Good Days, Bad Days. Yeah. Oh my God, that would be bad, wouldn't it? <laughs> It's really good. You should check it out. Um, on the flip side, this song is called Sunflower. And it's about um, all the beautiful things, taking a moment to just sit and watch and observe. And Blake wrote this one. And it's literally about a little sunflower. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>
a seated gig is a trigger word for us because the last one we had, we played, and in the middle of this, uh, in the last song, fireworks went off, and we just saw the entire crowd just get up and bolt. <laughs> and it was so sad, but it was also really special to play a gig and see the fireworks. And, Bittersweet, but um, this is so special. Thank you for making it such a beautiful thing for us. <laughs> Restore our faith in it. This one's called What's Mine Is Yours.
kind of gave us a, a level warning <laughs> when we came in, because if it gets to a certain point, apparently it, it cuts off, is that right? Yeah. So we're trying to like be so quiet, but that bit I'm just so used to being like <laughs> It feels nice, I have to contain myself. <laughs> Um, this next one is called Temper, and um, it's about observing anger and kind of looking at the traits and the, the waves that it kind of goes through. Um, so fast. Thanks so much again, Connor and Sand and JJ. Thank you so much and the whole crew for having us. Can't wait for the next and the more and more. It's so exciting. <laughs> amazing, amazing work. Um, we've got one more. This one um, we released during lockdown. We we're lucky enough to get into the studio before that whole thing happened. 
Um, <laughs> won't go into it, we all know what's going on. Um, but we're lucky enough to work on it during then and work on all the marketing and things and celebrate that away from each other on Zoom. Um, but this one is on that and it's called Golden Lover and it's about um, the sneaky partner of your friend that you don't really like but they really like, and you just know they're like, there's something about them, they might be a bit evil, like you're not sure. You're just like, there's something about you. I don't know. <laughs>
nervous. <laughs> if you feel like getting up and dance to end the night, you're so welcome to. something and it's about that certain someone that there's something about so if they're here tonight i hope you're gonna get up and have a book with them where's good nebula thanks so much for sticking around with us
giving up for the pain. Thank you so much for booking with us. Have a beautiful night.